Well, welcome back everybody. Welcome back to another Affinity Photo tutorial. Great to see you all here. Today we are going to go for this glow effect in Affinity Photo. First seen this on another one of Rafi A's Photoshop tutorials and we're going to replicate it in Affinity Photo today. We're going to be using the pen tool today. I know a little bit scary, but it gives a great selection for what we want to do today and I'm going to show you some tips and tricks with the pen tool. So as usual guys, let's get started. This is the photo we're going to use to create that glow effect. The first thing we're going to do is on the background layer here, we're going to come down to our adjustments and we're going to pick brightness and contrast. And we're going to bring the brightness all the way down and we're going to bring the contrast all the way down as well. Okay, on our adjustment layer again, we're going to go to the HSL adjustment and we're going to bring the hue shift all the way down and we're also going to just bring the saturation down just so we can just see that blue coming through. One more adjustment on the levels and we're just going to make the black level bring that down a little bit darker and the output white level bring that down a little bit as well just to make that photo look a little bit darker. Very good, okay, so we're gonna come over here to the background and we're gonna duplicate the background now with the Command J. And this background, we're going to drag all the way up to the top. So the next thing we're gonna do is use our pen tool and we're gonna cut out the glasses. So we're gonna click on our pen tool over here on the toolbar and what we wanna have is we want to click up here on smart mode. So we've got pen mode and we want smart mode. The other thing that we want to make sure is ticked is add new curve to selective curve objects. We want that ticked as well. What that allows us to do is select the glasses and then make a second selection on the lenses and you'll see as we go along. Having the smart mode ticked it's going to help follow along the edges of these glasses. It's going to stick to these edges. So here we go. I'm actually going to make this picture a little bit bigger with my Command Plus on the keyboard. So I've just got the glasses here. I'm going to start right in the corner over here and I'm just going to go around the glasses and you can see just little small selections that going right onto the edge of those glasses there. With the smart selection, it should stick to those edges pretty well. Just take your time, nice and easy, and get all the way around the glasses. So what I'm gonna do is just speed this up now and we'll come back when we're ready to do the lenses. Okay, as you can see, I've gone all the way around the glasses. Now having this one here clicked, add new curve to selective curve objects, allows us now to start another selection in the glasses here. So here we go. And we wanna do both lenses. So again, I'll speed it up just so you don't have to watch me go all the way around. There we go, so I've got both lenses and the glasses selected. I find keeping these click points closer together gives me a better selection. If you do want to modify any of these points here, you can come over here onto your pen tool and come to the node tool, switch to the node tool, and you can make some little fine adjustments with your pen tool, just like that. If you think that you have not got it quite where you want it, making some fine adjustments just in the middle here. So once you're happy, you can come up here to selection. Let's click on selection and you can see it gives us our marching ants. I'm just going to zoom out again a little bit now. So just zoom out so we can see that. And that's why we use a pen tool because it gives us a really nice selection around those glasses. Okay, so back over here to our background, the one we moved up to the top, and we're gonna to come to our mask, and we're going to add a mask to that. And at this stage, you can get rid of your marching ants, which is the Command D on the keyboard, and just collapse those two on, so you've got clicked on both. And what we're gonna do is invert that now. So if we go Command I on our keyboard, and that's where it gives us this glow effect for the glasses, which is a really, really cool effect. Okay, one more thing to do. We're gonna add a new pixel layer down here. And on that pixel layer, we are gonna pick our brush tool over here on this toolbar. Brush that we want 
is just a basic brush, but it's nice and soft, just a soft brush. Over to our colors, and you see this little eyedropper here? We wanna grab that little eyedropper and drag it down to where the glasses are, and we wanna pick that color on the glasses. Don't forget to click here to activate that. On our brush, we want about a 30% opacity, flow about 30% as well around about 30, doesn't matter if it's 28, 29. Hardness set to zero. Nice big brush. And we're just gonna add a little bit of glow that's coming from that those glasses, just on the person here, on their nose. And then a really nice big brush over here, just to add a little bit of glow around our model here. And if it's a little bit too much, we can bring the opacity down. And then just to our pixel layer, we might just add a little bit of Gaussian blur, maybe about halfway. And one last little thing, just on this HSL, I'm just gonna bring that saturation down just a little bit more and just the luminosity down a little bit more as well. So there we go everybody, we've gone from this photo to this photo with a really cool glow effect on the glasses. We learned a little bit about the pen tool, making sure with this one we were in smart mode, making sure that we had the add new curve to curved objects so we could actually make a selection of the glasses and then a selection on inside the frames as well. So everybody, if you have enjoyed the tutorial this week, the first one for 2020, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to my channel. And just a reminder that there will be an iPad version of this tutorial coming out very soon as well. Please check my channel for that. And until next time, I'll say to you, be brave, go out and do something amazing, and I'll see you in the next video.